Peru news today all you need to know about to Peru. Gabriel Hines, the coach surveyed at Universitario regarding the possible departure of Jorge Fasadi. With the contacts between Jorge Fasadi's entourage and the Peruvian Federation, Universitario de Deportes began to sound out coaches and highlighted the name of the Argentine Gabriel Hines. Jorge Fasadi was the key element in obtaining the national championship of Universitario de Deportes after several years of drought. The title gave the club an ideal outlook for 2024, the year of the institution's centenary. However, the appearance of an offer from the Peruvian national team for the Uruguayan strategist to take the reins of the bicolor generated uncertainty regarding the cream bench. With Juan Reynoso still being the technical director of the Peruvian national team, Jorge Fasadi's situation with the Peruvian Federation has not yet been made official. Despite this, the possibility of him reaching the national team is real, which is why names are already being considered at Universitario. As RPP learned, one of the technicians who appeared on the cream agenda is the Argentine Gabriel Hines. Gabriel Hines, in the Universitario sites. The U defined that the first team's preseason will begin on Monday, December 18. This date was communicated by the institution to Jorge Fasadi, who is still on vacation in Uruguay. Eleven days before returning to work and the issue of incorporations has not yet been closed, Universitario is discussing whether to determine this week as the maximum deadline for the final decision of Jorge Fasadi and his continuity, or to extend the waiting time to look for a new strategist given this, the club began to search for names of coaches and one of them is Gabriel Hines. The technical director ended his contract with Newell's Old Boys of Argentina and is a free agent. In the cream team, they have already consulted about his situation with those around him. Gringo led the Leper team in 2023, obtaining 46.67% effectiveness in terms of performance, 50 games, with 18 wins, 16 draws and 16 losses. The former central defender, who played for teams such as Real Madrid, Manchester United and PSG, in his role as coach has also been in charge of Godoy Cruz, Argentinos Juniors, and Vela's Sarsfield, as well as Atlanta United in the MLS. His best campaign in Argentina's first team was with Vela's, which he led to third place in the 2019-20 league. His only title as coach was achieved with Argentinos, when he established himself in the Primera B Nacional, 2016-17. From Gabriel Hines it is appropriate to indicate that. This Thursday the meetings between the still Universitario coach and Juan Carlos Ablitas, FPF football director, ended. At the meeting it was stated that the position of the manager, and for now the only candidate, to reach Vidina is Jorge Fasadi. With this, the federation hopes that the Uruguayan understands the situation of the Reynoso case so that he can wait before deciding whether or not to separate himself from the U. According to the media in his country, it appears as one of the possibilities to reach the racing club bench for 2024. Is Jorge Fasadi leaving the university? In the Peruvian Football Federation, FPF, they continue to seek to reach an agreement with Juan Reynoso to finalize his separation. If the procedures do not progress by Friday the 8th, on Monday the 11th the technical director and the FIFA dispute resolution chamber will be notified to report the non-continuity and take the case to legal channels. Subscribe and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Peru News Today, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.